If you get bitten by a snake, I think it, you should definitely suck the venom out. Only on television, only yeah, on Westerns. Only on TV. Yeah. We never saw anybody in real life. What would I do? In the middle of nowhere, I'd take a set of jumper cables, I'd connect it to a spark plug, and I would shock the balloon, which has not been proven by medical science to either confirm or deny that it works, but they know it does something with the proteins that are in the snake venom, and they don't know exactly sure why. So you're going to shock me. I'm going to shock the hell out of you. I think, I mean, if it works for the movies, it might work in real life. It kind of depends on where you get bit, I guess. <laughs> Cut the wound out so that it wouldn't get spread, so the infection wouldn't spread. I'd have him reach to do it himself. Oh, you wouldn't do it? That's harsh. Uh, the one I've read, you kind of around and just try to crawl, just get the electricity to flow through it. I don't know. I've never done it, but improvise, overcome, and adapt. I think that if you suck the venom out, then the venom's going to go in your mouth. and. She wants them to suffer, apparently. Yeah. So I say deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Hello, but, doctor on the other end. Does sucking out the venom really work on a snake bite? Hello there, cowboy. First thing I have to say is, no, definitely don't electrocute your friend. Many things have been tried for snake bites, including electrocution, uh, cutting at it, tourniquets, and also sucking out the venom. And essentially, all of these don't do anything to help, and some of them can harm. If you try and suck it out, less than 1% of the venom is gonna come out, so you're essentially just wasting time. So if your friend is there and they got bitten, the most important thing is to see how soon you can get them into the hospital. They're not gonna die right that second, but the most important thing is to get to the anti-venom that's in the hospital. So, cowboy, leave those electrocution prongs at home.